Well, this is exciting. This is the first time I've ever seen good prints of the Snafu cartoons. And in fact, I was going to write something about them on my blog, but unfortunately all my favorite animation is cut off at the tops and bottoms of the uh, existing Snafu um, DVDs and tapes. So now this is the first time I've ever seen the whole picture and it's incredible. You can even see the grain in the film, which I love to see and which they sometimes wipe out in, when they remaster old cartoons. So this is cool. Oh, look at those feet. This is a Clampett uh, snafu, and of course everybody who knows me knows that I love Bob Clampett. And those feet are one of the reasons. Bob Clampett is like an ultimate cartoonist. He knows what cartoonists think are funny and what the audience thinks is funny. And we all know that feet are uh, some of God's funniest anatomical creations. Oh, look at this guy. I love this, uh, this Nazi um, sergeant here. There's some killer animation of him running. It's a great run cycle um, that you can barely see in most of the prints of this because you can't see his feet. They're cut off. Let's see it. There he comes. Yeah, you gotta get some ass jokes. I guess everyone who knows about Snafu knows that these cartoons are a little bit more risque than what the uh, people were doing. The same an animators were doing on their theatrical cartoons because they're aimed at the uh, soldiers. Don't know who that animator is. Kind of mushy. All right, here is Rod Scribner, my favorite animator of all time. This is killer, look at that. There, that's my favorite run cycle ever in a cartoon. And I can hardly wait to freeze frame that and to go on and on about it on my blog. You know what's cool about these cartoons is you can tell they did them pretty fast, but there was also probably not much interference and the spontaneity of the animation is just incredible. I mean, the thing about Clampa cartoons is everything moves funny. Like that gun. Even the gun had personality. Okay, that looks like um, Bob McKimson. There it is again. <laughs> so good they had to show it to you twice. That's incredible. Looks like it switched to another animator at the end of the run cycle. And that's McKenzie, I'm pretty sure. It's musty and dusty and mighty damn rusty. Conditions inside are just stinking. What's interesting about these cartoons is obviously they have a message and they're trying to teach soldiers something. So the gags themselves are not always hilarious. But these directors are so good that the entertainment just comes from the way it's presented. Like the animation is just so much fun to watch. Look at that. That's killer. <laughs> oh, that's a funny pose. Like all careless gents, he vines a behind fence. Snafu is I like it when they uh they decide to put some bits of anatomy and other parts are just pure cartoon construction. Yep, the end. Man, that was a beautiful print. <laughs> 